What is going on guys? Joey here. Sunlight in the background. <clears throat> Today, I wanted to highlight some crazy progress and kind of talk about, just to give you guys an idea of what you can do in a couple years, one to two years in that frame. Um, I'm going to do three different girls. I could do this whole thing on the boys, but nobody, uh, the boys are, boys are easy. Boys are, boys are easy, right? Um, so we got Alba here. We have Cranon and Sonita. And I'm just going to kind of go through some of their progress that they've made um, since joining the team. And they've roughly been here around the same amount of time. Um, some two years, some 18 months. I think, I think they're actually all just under two years. So just going to show you guys some progress that they made. I'm going to talk about a couple things that may help you. Um, and you know, everybody sees like they see the top total, right? This is open powerlifting by the way. And I blew the page up so you guys could see it. Let me see if I could do it one more time. Whoa, it's like how my dad looks at his phone <laughs> with the big font. Okay, so everybody sees the big total, right? Um, this is a really good total for the 63s in the open. This is like, it would have, it's like a pound and a, a kilo and a half below the world record. Really good total for Cranon. Um, and then Sonita, just crazy, crazy, crazy progress, right? So... I just want to kind of go through the situations uh, of each of the girls and show you like a smaller girl, a medium size, and uh, a bigger girl, higher weight class, and then just kind of talk about the progression um, and some of the things that they have in common. Although I would say all these situations are very different, but they do have some similarities. So starting off with Alba, we started together... I believe right here, so 1250. Um, in in about a year, she made pretty good progress there, right? But it, this is around the time when you're, you know, you're gonna start to like see the noob gain slow down. She already put 100 pounds on her total almost, so like, okay, that's pretty much gonna kind of run out. Now she gets with Big Joe. You never know. Um, you refine things a little bit. You get some good structure. The, there's a lot of like trust. Um, then four months after, 50 pounds on the total. I don't know why Powerlifting America or Powerlifting America Open Powerlifting does this. Um, I don't know what this is. It's like only openers. I'm really not sure what that is, but there's a 50 pound increase there. Maybe she only took openers. I'm not sure. Then Lithuania, she does Lithuania. Um, so now she's up 100 pounds from our first meet together till here about 100 pounds right missed the third deadlift that kind of botched the total pain 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 and then we compete uh two months after and we say all right let's let's lock in let's take a shot at that again i also um just did attempt slightly just very minimal difference but yes, everything worked out. Perfect meet. Record on squat. Record on bench. Hits the hits the nice total. All that stuff, right? So in one year, she went from 1051 to 1221. Oh, sorry. This would be the one year. Uh, so it's like 50 kilos. Literally 50 kilos. Um, I think it's slightly over 50 kilos in one year. Uh, of course, we have the 50 pounds before that, but if we just want to do year to year, same meat, same time, literally one day difference, pretty good. Um, Alba has a good support system. She's really good about nutrition. She's really good with communication. She trusts me a lot. I said this, I said this to my lifters. Sometimes I'll say lean on me, like literally lean on me. So the lifters that like ask me questions communicate with me 
share their ideas, let me know what they're thinking, kind of let me into their mind, I can help them so much, right? I can help them more than anything. Um, it's the lifters that they're not good with communication or they're scared to like tell me when they overshoot or they didn't do something right in training. Um, that is when I'm just working with less information. So when I make a block, when I do anything, I just have less, I just have less to go off of. Um, also in here, there was like weight class changes. I mean, that's like a, I think this bulk right here, the basically 150 pounds and then coming down here, um, this, this really helped us kind of like build some good muscle, but we found a good combination where we can kind of adjust the body weight and train and progress while losing weight. Shout out to Kedrick for the help there. Um, so really incredible progress with Alba. I'm so proud of her. I can't really, uh, I mean, this is, this is like, I would say this is like, it might be unrealistic for some, honestly, um, just being able to lock in and do what you need to do. And then we have Cranon. Um, our first meet together, I believe was this one, uh, this one here. I mean, obviously the difference in total less than a year before to here is like crazy, but you know, she got locked in. We communicated really well. Um, she was very, very new. Um, there was just a lot that for, with Krana, especially I tell her lean on me a lot because she's newer to the sport. She literally just, she's, she's done like one, two, three, really like one, two, three, like three real meets. And then like kind of some experience with these, she said they weren't like, I get, I mean, yeah, their meets, obviously she competed at them, but it was like different, right? She didn't really know what was going on there. Um, too, too much. These are her words. So now we switch her over. We get some practice at the USAPL meet. We switch over to Powerlifting America. We do the qualifier, just taking the bar, right? Get a total. She does nationals. Um, so weight class went up two pounds. Uh, 20 pounds on the total. Not too bad. I remember... I don't know what it was. There was something about this meet where she was like light or I don't know, but I'm happy with this, right? Pretty good. And then at Worlds, at Worlds is when she really went crazy. She really started to understand what we're supposed to do. Communication got even better. Um, we got to gain two, three pounds. So pretty good. That helps. Um, really started locking in. This was, I would say the first time that she was like really, really locked in. Um, this prep was noticeably better than this prep or yeah, this prep than, than this prep. And you see that big jump in the total, right? Relatively the same body weight PRs on everything. Um, squat and bench was actually a bit taxed. Uh, I know why that is the taper got really screwed up during travel. We didn't even, do the taper right really the last week before it was just all over the place uh and nutrition was all messed up and traveling overseas so it'll be really cool i'll literally there's no doubt in my mind this is this is, this is like 13 15 um if we compete in the states maybe like 13 10 something like that at that particular time um but you know from where are we at march <laughs> honestly this is this is kind of crazy from March to June, uh, 50 pounds, 55 pounds. I mean, I mean, that's, that's Alba still beat it a little bit here. Um, could be like travel related, but very for them both to be making those kind of like progress in that similar time frame is, uh, it's actually pretty crazy, but um, Kran is very locked in again, all three of them, they lean on me. They communicate really, really well. They ask me questions. They kind of like, just know that I'm there for them. And that's what I want all my lifters to do. Um, seventy six seventy six 76 kg class. Excited for her next meet in April because I mean, she is traveling like crazy right now, but 
uh, April is going to be in the States. And anytime you go from, I'm also really excited for our nationals because like Keiko is going to compete in the States. Um, I know Delaney just did, but like whenever you have somebody that's competed overseas for a long time and then they finally come compete at home, you're going to get that big uh, sort of boost. So really proud of her. Her situation is tough because she does travel a lot. She does a lot of influencer things. Uh, that's just like her life, right, outside the gym. So we're dealing with a ton of adjustments, a ton of variables. She doesn't just stay put and train. Um, whereas Alba can really, like, control that. Crown is just, like, all over the place, right? So we do our best. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty content with that. Although we can always do better. And then Sonita... Um, where are we at? I think our first meet was, uh, I want to say it's somewhere around here. Um, because I know we did Malta together. Let me check actually. Okay. So I went and checked and it looks like she had a meet late March. Um, that was our first meet together. Um, first meet together, I believe was late March, 2022. Um, I mean, we could just go based off like recent things. So let's go with IPF worlds here, Sheffield euros. Okay, a lot of these meets, she's just like not going all out. She's just kind of lifting to participate or doing something that's fun which we've kind of cut back on a little bit because the stakes are getting higher now. Um, and then, okay, so if we go Malta, uh, 15, 17, pretty good. Mel me before that. Let's go to this one right here. Euros, uh, 14, 57. Right, in Poland. Um, and then you just see, bro, ending with the 1611 is like kind of crazy. And then squatting this is like absolutely nuts. Almost delicating 600 pounds. I know that bench is coming up too. Um, obviously the increase in body weight. Um, but when you have sort of that frame to, you know, if you guys see Sonita, she's like solid, right? If you have that frame um to sort of put that muscle on and put that size on i mean you got to kind of find that and everybody's like power lifting sort of potential is gonna it's gonna lie like it may be much higher than you think it actually might be much much lower than you think and i think allowing yourself to find that um i mean you can have i mean just look at the jumps on squat right this was honestly epic. Um, this is going to be 700 soon. And I I can't wait for it. 700 and 600 here. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore, guys. What are we what are we talking about? What's going on here? I'm really proud of her as well. What do they what do, what do they all have in common? Well, um they all have a support system, right? You have a significant other that supports your goals that, you know, wants you to succeed and believes in, in you and what you're doing. That goes a really, really, really long way. Um, obviously, support system for me, support system from the community, um, people that are encouraging and they want to see you do well and they make you feel, you know. Um, you know, almost like you're a part of something that can help as well. Um, different, different varying levels of that between the three of them, uh, obviously nutrition, uh, consistency, um, obviously, you know, Cran and travels a lot. So our consistency is going to be all over, but she does communicate and we do make adjustments and that's where my experience comes in to say, give you guys a recent example. We're supposed to squat Tuesday. She just got to London. She's all messed up. It's super late. The schedule's all screwed up. I said, let's take it off. Let's hit it tomorrow, right? Stuff like that. 
do the best that you can. Um, so staying consistent, good support system. Um, being able to uh, more so with like Alba and Sonita, like explore the potential with your body weight. Um, Alba being willing to sort of move up, um, move up here, get a little heavier, uh, weigh in at about 150 and then cut back down. When you do stuff like that, if you can control the variables you're supposed to control, you can maintain a lot of that strength. And in a sport like powerlifting where you have to be the same weight, you know, you can fluctuate, but you got to kind of refine. Um, it could really pay off in the long term, uh, just taking care of those variables and making sure you're locked in um, in that regard. So um, with Sonita, I think the next chapter, uh, I mean, obviously we need to focus on Sheffield and all of our resources kind of need to go to that. I would like to maybe like hover around here or here. And then maybe we come down to here and then maybe we come back up to here and then we're, we're smashing all these numbers and now we're like a little bit lighter, right? Something like that. Um, that could be like the next step. Uh, granted, in the super heavyweight class, the most important thing is that you're just getting your protein in and that you have pretty decent meal timing. So like breakfast, lunch, dinner, maybe one more in between there and you're going to be good to go. Um, but you can always recomp over time. That's the cool thing about powerlifting is like you're constantly recomping. We have to, you know, if we're trying to stay around this body weight and she's getting stronger, putting more muscle, her body's going to change, right? Your weight is the same, but your body is going to be looking different. Um, so very proud of them. I could put like so many different people up here. I'm just using them as examples um, that come to mind as of late. They've all competed at IPF Worlds this last year. Um, Sonita is doing Sheffield. Tried really hard to get the other two, got really, really, really close. Um, but you never know what the future may hold. Um, so we're just going to keep working and, you know, all those fun things will come um, if we just keep keep working. So I'm looking to always add to this, right? I want this to be like minimum another 30 pounds, 40 pounds up. Um, same thing here. Same thing here, right? Uh, maybe even 40 to 50 here. So um, we're just going to keep it going. And building a relationship uh, with those lifters and just getting to know them really well um, allows me to help them better, allows me to make this kind of progress, right? Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very hands-on type of thing, and it's something that... Um, I mean, you're going to have periods where you autopilot, right? You're just like coasting. Like there's going to be, you know, like maybe from this meet to this meet, we literally were just coasting, right? And then there's going to be times when like we have to compete a lot. You know, if you look here, we went from April. So four months, three meets. We have to be very, um, you know, we have to be very communicative. We have to know everything that's going on. We have to be on top of all the variables. Like that is when things can get really tricky because there's different goals for each meet and we're prioritizing different things at different times. So if the goal here is just to take openers, then we've got to just do that, right? If the goal here is to, like, I think actually there are other attempts in here, um, but for some reason they're not showing, I don't know why it's not showing the, uh, like all the attempts. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but you guys get me. If the goal is to bulk up, when we're going to bulk up. If the goal is to cut down and maintain our protein and do da 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 da, then we got to do that. So um, if the goal is to just meme at this meet, right, and then put a little something here and then push it here, then we got to do that. This meet was all about getting experience. Um, just wanted her to get that experience. Same thing here. I wanted Alba to get experience through into the fire against the open. So they need us got she's done a lot of meets she's got good composure not a lot of meets but she's done a good amount of meets she has very good composure she has good confidence um i think she has good confidence and i think that really helps us when we go out there and we are um trying to compete on those really big stages um you know for those that don't know her weight class is like really competitive i mean all these are really competitive for sure um but like for her weight class and for a couple years, it was like anybody can win. It was like, 
the same three people for like maybe about an 18 month period where anyone same total don't make a mistake <gasps> and sunita was able to break away so very proud of them all very excited to continue to sort of grow these totals and really help them and put you know make women's powerlifting more exciting and just kind of put it on the map and i think honestly a lot of the best matchups are with the girls um i think i think most lifters kind of just watch whatever weight class they are but if you really get into the sport um you'll see that like there's actually like really exciting uh matchups for the boys and the girls and a lot of times um i know that the 69 women's from junior worlds i believe was extremely close i want to say 69 or 76 i don't remember but it was like you had like five girls and they were all basically the same total and it was like the order that they made their attempts and who tried to chip who and like who missed and it just was like a crazy ending so uh anyway that's a ramble thank you guys so much for making this i just want to or making it this far i just wanted to show a little bit of appreciation to the girls and show their um show some of their progress uh uh you know over the last like like year 18 months uh just because um i think especially on this channel i like to look back and just kind of be like wow like we came a long way or we i like just memories for me and also maybe some inspiration for you guys maybe you guys see this and say okay i want to make similar progress um and yeah that's that's pretty much that all right guys see you in the next one peace